It's been over 30 years since the last time this happened, but it's official. Intel has actually teamed up with AMD, and it concerns gaming, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Boy oh boy do I have some news for you today. Intel and AMD, two of the biggest rivals in the hardware industry, have officially announced that they're teaming up. That's right, every metaphor you could think of when it comes to rivals coming together, this fits the bill. And it could be to combat a common enemy, NVIDIA. Though the question of why isn't nearly as important as what. So what exactly is going on? Well, Intel and AMD have partnered to fill a market that's been needed for quite some time actually. Thin gaming laptops. Yeah, for those who don't know the mobile market, gaming laptops haven't been so mobile as of late. Companies have been trying to shove more and more hardware into mobile PCs, which generates that much more heat. This ultimately translates into bigger and bigger chassis to put said hardware in and to ensure it doesn't actually catch on fire. This is what AMD and Intel hope to change, and we aren't talking semi-decent gaming laptops that can only handle esports games at 30 FPS. No, this is being designed as full-on gaming hardware, even able to take on the challenges of, say, VR, while remaining extremely thin and portable. Believe it or not, Intel actually went to AMD about integrating their 8th gen mobile technology with AMD's GPU tech. We don't know much about the GPU's capability or architecture, but it does seem to be at least semi-custom made for this project. So how exactly does Intel plan to pull off such a feat? It really comes down to two innovations. First is Intel's own interconnect that they've been talking about for a little while now. It's coined the EMIB and stands for an Embedded Multi-Die Interconnect Bridge. Simply put, this new interconnect is able to combine completely different dies onto the same package without the expense, thickness, or, well, impossibility of an interposer. I say impossibility because interposers can only be so big before yield rates aren't even worth it. No, instead of a long sheet of silicone across the whole of the chip, the EMIB effectively uses tiny bridges that go directly into the substrate, so they're able to make the chip much bigger without having a high impact on yield rates. The second technology that heavily impacts space requirements is the use of HBM2. For those who don't know, HBM are video memory modules that can be stacked on top of one another instead of needing to be laid out on a board like GDDR5. Both of these technologies combine to make for a package with a discrete GPU, CPU, and video RAM that overall requires effectively 50% less space than how it's done now. How much it can help with thickness is tough to say, but Intel seems to think it will make quite the impact. One question I have, though, is whether this is smart for AMD, considering their use of HBM was to be used for more portable solutions instead of handing the reins off to Intel. Some have pointed to the costs involved, Plus, with Intel's tech, it helps minimize the size that much further, and to top it off, Intel will actually be handling driver support on the GPU side, so there's certainly some upside. The issue is that the report seems to suggest these to be more Intel-powered, so that form of marketing could ultimately hurt AMD's CPU side of the business, but who knows? Either way, if everything goes according to plan, we should begin seeing extremely portable and thin gaming laptops as early as the first of 2018. That's good news for gamers everywhere. So while that does it for the news, what do you think? Are you excited for thin gaming laptops? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like gaming hardware news and reviews, make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.